Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you my new Project Aero splitter kit that I have recently had installed onto the Evo 10 here. Now, a little bit of history about Project Aero. They make, I think almost every Evo, they have a full splitter kit for. The 5, 6, 6.5 front lip is very popular to protect those front bars and front lips they have on those cars. Um, so they recently reached out, posted up in an Evo 10 group here in Australia and said they wanted to use an Evo 10 to basically measure up and install one of their new, or well, new to be released, Project Aero splitter kits for the platform. So they didn't have anything for the Evo 10 at the time and they were looking to do so. So yeah, I ended up dropping my car off to them. They measured everything up, took the bumper off, um, checked out what they needed to do, designed it up, and then I dropped it back off to them a couple of weeks later um, after just sort of doing a little test fit where they came over and checked the front lip and side skirts, everything on the car. Uh, then they wanted to install it, so they had instructions, they could write everything up, and yeah, just sort of basically work out if they were happy with everything, the bolt locations, all that. So luckily it worked out perfectly. So mine is the prototype kit, um, and they are now available and released. So their website has just gone live with this full splitter kit on there. We did a little photo shoot yesterday where they showed off the product. And I, I am stoked with this. If you can't tell, I'm so stoked with how this came out. So yeah, basically it's got onto the car. Um, I drove it home that night. It was filthy. I knew we had the photo shoot coming up soon. So I washed the car and it's just been sitting in the garage until the photo shoot because I was working all week and I wasn't using this car for the week. So when I pulled it out yesterday and drove down, met up with Ben from Project Aero to do the product photo shoot that he wanted to do. Um, I couldn't believe we were in the perfect lighting and it just looked so good and I'm stoked with it. It's the most I've sort of looked at it since. So I think this is an absolute must have if you have an aero kit on your Evo 10. Now, it has been designed basically off my car with the aero kit. I will say though, the side skirts will work for any side skirts because they all mount the same. Everything is obviously mounted using factory bolt locations. I think there's a option to drill one extra hole for the front splitter um, right in the corner but there's like I think eight bolts total all up it's all countersunk hardware as well zinc countersunk hardware so there's no bolts hanging down loose under the car that will scrape off over time everything is countersunk hidden away there's nothing hanging low so it's all like flush very well designed well thought out with quality products um, but yeah the, if you have an aero front lip it's going to work best for your car um, they are trying to track down an Evo 10, so I'm going to help them out with that without an aero front lip, with just the factory front, and see if it'll also work with that. They designed it so that it would, because they removed my bumper and measured everything out where the front lip sort of sits and where the factory bumper would. Um, but I won't say that it definitely fits. The, it will fit, I just don't know how well it'll sort of flow if you don't have the aero front lip. Um, but there'll be more about that soon, more info on that. But the side skirts, 100%. Any side skirts, you can get those. And the rear spats, I will go down and show you those in a second. Um, they were more designed for the aero rear spats. So you can see it all flows together well. But we're gonna start off the front. I'm gonna show you that. So first thing I'll mention is just how subtle it is. It doesn't stick out far. It's not like a super intrusive or obstructive splitter. Like it's just, you know, a little bit sticks out. It's also a really nice quality gloss black plastic. Or, I mean, it's gloss black now. I'll put a little bit of trim dressing on there, but it's not like a matte textured plastic. It's actually really nice. It, I was thinking it when I first talked to them, I was like, oh yeah, I'll get it and I'll probably take it off and then repaint it gloss black, similar to my front nose piece here. But it's pretty glossy anyway. So I'm actually really happy with that. But yeah, obviously the, the lines of it. So if we stand back up and sort of come around, you can see it, tapers in at the edge and then it comes out and then yeah tapers back in but the good thing is so my wheel stick out it's harder to show you the edge there pretty much perfectly lines up with the front edge of the side skirt one so i wonder if i can you can kind of see it like that from down low you can't really see it as well because the wheels that i have currently stick out a little bit but yeah, then the side skirt one, I actually really like the fact that the 2011 plus side skirts are similar, but the way it sort of 
comes in and then pops out here just like the splitter does so it's got that chamfered edge there and yeah it just from the angles you can see that little line and then you see the second line in the side splitter one but yeah so for a side shot that looks so good and then the rear so the rear is for the aero rear spats so it's very similar my car's a little bit dirty from a little bit of uh driving on some dusty roads um, but so this one like su super sturdy as well by the way and um yeah it has this little lip here that comes out just like this does and you can actually if you want have this pushed in a little bit further or pushed out a little bit further if you want more aggressive less aggressive um, but i may even go in just a touch possibly but i do like how it again if i get the above shot that edge there to that edge there basically lines up so it's like a solid line all the way even though it sort of curves differently yeah just i might just do a quick just 360 walk around of the car so you guys can just get a look at it from all angles i'll start off here at the back so if you look at it there you can just see it just gives the rear just that little bit of extra aggression and then if we come around if you come around the corner straight away you see that side splitter and as you get to the front you see the front sort of start popping out that oh, looks so good i'm stoked with it guys i don't know what to tell you absolutely stoked so yeah it is really ties the car in so well didn't think i'd like it as much as i did but yeah it is just finish this off so well the exterior now i don't think there's anything i will change it's just like other than possibly wheels in the future it is just spot on i like it's just a subtle sleek look even the way like you can see from here as well but the way the rear spat ones sort of match the curve the line of the duck bill i would obviously know my car is a duck bill and not everyone else does but yeah i think it works so well um, but yeah so i don't know if I, I did already mention or not but yeah countersunk hardware so nothing is going to come off like you're not having any bolts that actually hang below it's actually quite lightweight too i didn't think it'd be as light as it did like each individual piece the weighs very little um, so it's not like heap of weight pulling your bumper down or anything and yeah it's mounted to the bumper itself so you don't, if you want to take your front bumper off it just comes off with it um, probably the best way to install it too or i would recommend taking the bumper off which is what we did um, side skirts you leave them on rear you leave it on but just to make the bolt locations easier to get into taking the front lip off is probably a positive um, but yeah so i mean just a little bit more info about the company so everything is australian made all the hardware is australian sourced um, yeah zinc coated like i mentioned countersunk um, nothing is going to come loose over time they've had many cars that have been running their stuff for many years drift cars and time attack cars and stuff nothing's no issues um, very strong won't like break and go out of shape or anything over time um, it is very high quality plastic and high quality hardware as well that's all supplied um, yeah so if you don't have an aero front lip but you want one then i did actually oh if you click on the product on project aero website i did put a link to a aero front lip and to aero rear spats don't know how long those will be available um, but you can still get them in japan and the us and a few places if you want that stuff and if you do which i think the aero stuff just looks so good on the evo 10s um, then you will definitely want to get this splitter kit as well um, if you are wanting to get one of these they are 10 percent off for the next seven days so this video is going to come out on the 2nd of july i'm filming it on the first at the moment um, and it just got released today on the first so until the 9th you get 10 percent off the entire kit so if you're interested in that definitely go ahead and get it while you can on that sale price um, it is made to order i think 10 days is what they aim for so once placing the order 10 days it'll be manufactured and ready to be shipped and like i said they're in australia they're a queensland-based australian company 
they will ship internationally and they do, they send a lot of stuff overseas, um, but they don't on their website have a link to be able to get pricing because it's just not going to be the best pricing they can give you. So if you email them, they will find the best pricing for freight and then be able to ship everything to you. So yeah, I mean, I think that's about everything that I was going to cover. Um, yeah, I always like to try and support and promote companies that are still making products for our platform. Um, but if you don't have an Evo 10, oh, one thing I forgot to mention, they actually are making a Rally Art splitter kit very soon. It's happening in the next month or two. Um, so keep an eye out for that. If you have a Rally Art and you watch the channel and you're wanting to get one. Um, but if you have any other car other than the Evo 10 or Rally Art, there's a chance they already make something. But if not, if you reach out to them and there's enough interest, they basically make constantly, they're making everything for every type of car. So a lot of Japanese stuff mostly, but um, yeah, it's like all the Silvias and Evos, WRXs, all different Subarus, Nissans, everything. So if you're interested in checking out for something for your car, maybe they make it for you, who knows? But yeah, massive shout out to the guys at Project Aero. Much appreciated for hooking me up with this kit and yeah, helping out the platform by making another really quality aftermarket piece that we can all try to get. So I think I'll end the video there. I know it's just a bit of talking and walking around the car, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm stoked with this. I um, can't wait to just dial in a couple more things on the car. And yeah, this has really gone a long way in inspiring me to just finish off the last few things on the exterior that I want, like just, which is basically repainting things and finishing things off. Just, this is pretty much perfect now. So I just want to dial those things in a little bit more, but I'm stoked. So yeah, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Again, thanks to Project Aero. Um, make sure you check them out, link in the description. But yeah, that's about all we have to go over today. So hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next video.